Alrighty, folks. Welcome to vlog number two. The reason this is vlog number two is because if you missed number one, which was so highly acclaimed, um, you may enjoy today's vlog. Uh, lots going on. Lots, lots going on. We just got over one hell of a storm last night. It rained. Lightning, thunder, clacking, cracking. I was supposed to fish on Monday. The forecast was 20 to 25 knots with possible gale force winds. So we decided not to do that. And there's another reason why I decided not to do it or I asked sort of my customer not to do it, uh, which is a long story, which I'll get into in a little bit. So we didn't fish on Monday. I got another package delivery today that I'm gonna share with you that is going to be sort of attached to last, not the last vlog, but the last video when I talked about the ugly stick tiger light jigging. And let me just preface this by saying, You'll need to subscribe because 90% of all my videos are attached to each other. Uh, meaning that this, if I do a video about something, then probably the next video is about the thing that I did the first video on. Okay? And that's exactly what's going to be happening today. Uh, this is sort of, like I said, vlog number two because some things are going to go on throughout the day here that I'm gonna take you along for the ride. There's the Jetty Wolf. Just some things are gonna to happen today. They're attached to the last video, which was about the ugly stick, Tiger Light jigging rods. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some footage of those rods getting broke in. I'm gonna show you that footage right now. Got to get Sarah here on my brand new rod and reels. Ugly stick, jigging rods, Finor, level wind, offshore 16. Come on, girl. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm tired. Tired? She woke up tired this morning. Now we can do... We're going to do the net cam. Oh, there he is. He's in the other line. Okay. He's in the other line. Net cam. Full of lines. Woo. Who let them dogs out? <laughs> Look at all the spots on this son of a gun. All righty. All right, he broke the, broke the spell on my brand new rods. Ten pounds. Ten pounder. <laughs> got all them spots. That's a super super multi spotter. Okay, Kyle's hooked up on my rod, my new rod and reel over here, and we got one that's deciding to go a different direction in which we're supposed to. This may not actually be a redfish. Go ahead and get on him. Because he's, he's going to take you out to no man's land. Okay, Sarah, you may want to bring that one up. Because he's coming in on this side. Real, real, real. Real, real, real. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, he's going to get caught. Oh, he's going to get, get caught. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to do the anchor dance. I hope not. Try to walk him down the side of the boat if you can. Let's get him the hell out of here. Oh, God. Polish. God dang Polish flounder. God dang Polish flounder. You know what that's called? Let down. You think he's cute? Come here, Polish flounder. Adios. Amigos. 28. 
Yep. Okay. Damn it. That's still too big? Still too big. They actually got a big. <laughs> you want the fish? A little too big for you, Curtis. 28. 29 incher. <laughs> hey, it's Freddy the Freeloader. Hey, Freddy, come here. All right, folks, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, head to the post office. I got a box here. That's the reel that I sold that's in this box. I got one more. It's the, um, they're all on eBay right now. I'm selling these two truth reels, and I'm keeping two. I have four at a pretty much unbelievable cost. These things may have been used once or twice last summer. They're super nice reels. I mean, they're just so better than most of the reels out there today. I mean, look at the torque that this thing can provide. They're just wonderful reels. Um, I got, I'm selling two of them, and I'm keeping two of them. So I sold one to a guy out in California who I guess he's he even seen my video when I caught a shark on one of these uh, on a topwater plug. And another thing I'm doing is I'm, I've am i already sold one. I've got these. Uh, these are Shimano Terez rods. This is a black one. I'm selling these at a, at a big time discount. If it already sold one, I had one that was yellowish. And this is the black. These things, MSRP, Manufacturer Suggested Retail Price, is $260. Well, this one has never seen water. I don't think this has ever even been used. This, this one right here. So um, I'm selling this on eBay at a big time discount too. Sold one already. I only got this one left. Sold one of these reels. Only got this one left. So now... On this crappy day, I'm going to be heading to the post office. And isn't that what vloggers do? We go to the post office on a crappy weather day. Fishing report to do for the newspaper. i got to send them some pictures, send them some video, footage. Lots going on today. Got lots going on. And I'm supposed to fish tomorrow. Was going to go Monday, but of course we didn't do that, so... And we'll see if I'm even going tomorrow. So, let's head to the post office right now. I'll get in the truck, and then I'm going to tell you about something else that's happened. That's also kind of putting a kibosh in my week. All right, folks. The reason that the camera is sitting so far down is I have to drive with my right hand. And uh, one of the big problems that I've had this week, and I don't know what it's from, I don't know what it's from. I'm having all kinds of sort of like elbow issues, but it's not necessarily just my elbow. It's when I move my wrist or hand or put weight on my elbow. Up inside my elbow, I am getting such sharp pains. I don't know if we're fishing tomorrow, but I'm going to have to make a trek all the way to uh, the VA hospital in Gainesville because I can't pull back a bow, I uh, can't hold a rod, I can't pull the anchor. I mean, just think of all the things that takes two arms. All right, folks, guess what? This vlog continues. Um, I knew sooner get home and this black Therese that was on eBay is now sold. So now I gotta package this rod up and everything with one arm. So now I've got to package this up and I'm selling these UPS. Yeah, I mean, I'm not making a ton of money on it, but I'm basically getting my money back. And I'm putting it other places. That's what I always do when I sell tackle. It's the only reason I'm selling tackle is I look at stuff that I'm not using heavily. And I replace it with something else that I'd like to try to use heavily. It's a never-ending cycle of being a pure tackle junkie. 
So, I no sooner get home from the post office and now I gotta pack up some more stuff. Heading to the UPS store. That's how I usually ship rods because I don't trust the United States Postal Service. And there it is sticking out my window because the bed of the truck is sopping wet with all this god dang rain. But you hear that? See if you can hear that. That's the sound of diesel power, baby. Remember, this all boils down to my last video talking about how sweet and lightweight, unbelievably lightweight, that these ugly stick tiger light jigging rods are. But the whole thing about it is, is that what I ended up putting on here. Look at that. That is the Jigging Master Wiki Jigging Light Tackle Level Wind Lever Drag Wiki Jigging Reel. Wiki from Jigging Master, I think just means, you know, it's, it's their light tackle type stuff. Look at that gorgeous SOB right there. I mean, you can get these in all different colors, but I chose because of the color, sort of the colors that are in this Ugly Stick Tiger Light to put this on there. Jigging Masters in Taiwan, all of their tackle is so state of the art. It's just unbelievable. I mean, who would have come up with a light tackle jigging reel that's lever drag and level wind? And then it has what the, like, the newest Daiwa Saltiga has. You push that in and it literally locks the spool so you can pull out snags if you have to. I just unboxed it. It is a thing of beauty. You know, I gotta get my elbow fixed here because I got a lot of fishing to do with this thing. They give you this right here, which is called a finger fence. You're, you're supposed to be able to stick your finger right on this little notch piece they put on there to help you cup this reel when you're jigging. Now, Pony Lou, I think his name, or Lie, he is, I guess the president of the company. I mean, if you don't believe how good these reels and even their rods are, just go look up Jigging Master on YouTube and watch this man test his equipment. This is what I've been waiting for all day long. And now it's, hell, it's after four o'clock by the time UPS showed up. I've never big been big into thumbing a reel back and forth. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm not catching 50-pound groupers and stuff like that. I'm talking big reds, sharks, maybe tarpon, snapper, maybe grouper, sea bassin. I don't know. This is just to complement. This is to complement. And let me get it. I don't have everything set up right here. This is to complement on the heavier duty side. Daiwa Ryogas. They're level line, star drag, high speed, 7.4 to 1 gear ratio. Power handle, EVA foam, all ball bearings. I mean, look at look how this foam handle. Look how that spins. All machine, 12 ball bearing reel. Fast as all get out. And I got these just on catfish rods. I mean, listen to this connect. You push that button. Man, listen to that. When that thing engages, it snaps on, it snaps into engagement like, like no other baitcaster I've ever had. This is nothing more than a larger sort of version of that with the uh, lever drag. And it's to complement my arsenal. And I'll be talking about this a little bit more. But I appreciate you coming on by, putting up with me today. This is vlog number two. If you want to talk tackle junkie, 
come on over, subscribe. Sort of vlog number two. And until we see some action on here, I'll see you again, hopefully shortly. All I gotta do is have somebody fix this elbow. The pain is running all the way up in here, all around. It feels all infl it got inflammation in it. Whatever I did, I don't even know what I did. So, um, but please come on back and watch for this tackle being pressed into service. See y'all later.